Welcome to another edition of Robot Wars Extreme Warriors on the new CNN. Last time, you would have seen Rosie the Riveter decimate the opposition. Today, it's the welcome return of Tricerabot, who in its last showing did a good job of upsetting Matilda, who will definitely be looking for revenge today. And the return of Termite with a new improved design. Last time on Robot Wars, they got a good torching. Today is another day. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mick Foley. Yeah, thank you. Holy, holy, I love when you do that. Welcome to Robot Wars Extreme Warriors. It's been a long and exciting road, littered with broken dreams and robot limbs. Five robots have already clawed and scratched their way into the championship. One more will join them after tonight. Who will emerge from the fray? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's join Carol in the pits to get the four. One, one. Thanks, Nick. Hi, I'm Carol Grow, and Robot Wars has some of the best robots in the world. Six will fight today, but only one will go on to the grand finale. It is sheer metal madness. And I don't know who my money's on, but I do know one thing. It will be one hell of a fight. You're absolutely right, Carol. We're going to see Termite go up against King of Diamonds and Dragbot. But first up, we're going to see Disco Tech and Brawler take on Tricerabot, who's down in the pits with Carol. I'm here with Tricerobot 3.0. Well, your first round, you're going to be against Disco Tech and Brawler. Yeah, actually, right now, I've got Ron uh, readjusting our weapons configuration to deal with those robots. Uh, we're looking to puncture some tires, to puncture some armor. We've got titanium spikes here to deal with the tires. We've got a grave digger here that will allow us to uh, avoid the ramp, any ramp that anybody has. Oh, uh, one challenge that we're going to see is all these robots in this match are going to be invertible. We can all operate equally well inverted, so it's not going to be real easy to just tip somebody over, which we could do with our tail that we've now added, which is new since last season. Disc-O-Tech, correct? Right, not Disco-Tech, Disc-O-Tech. Tell me about your machine. Well, we've got a four-wheel drive machine here with four wheelchair motors, each one delivering a, a horse and a half. So we've got six horsepower driving it. We've got a, uh, an NPC X950 uh, motor from Briggs & Stratton here at 15 horsepower driving this... Uh, Controls your weapon. Right, drives the weapon. What's it made out of? It's made out of a disc brake rotor off a motorcycle. And how fast does it go? Uh, 1,500 RPM. Pretty fast. Very fast. We wish you the best of luck. Have fun. Thank you, Carol. Last but not least, we're at the Brawler. Tell me about this great robot. Well, it was designed to be compact and reliable. You uh, look like you have a pretty fierce weapon. Yes, it's a tool steel, S7 tool steel weapon, uh, hardened to about our C-58, and it should do a lot of damage. We can uh, turn 360 degrees either direction at about 200 RPM and slice and dice them with the front end and hammer them in the ground for the back end. There is a hammer on the there back end. There is a end. hammer on the back end, yes. But Teddy's hiding it a yeah, little. Teddy is right now. Right now. Yeah, yeah. His name is Max. From Chino, California, Brawler. The Brawler at over 200 pounds is a double-ended spinner with a 10-pound hammer at one end and a spear axe at the other. Real low profile. From Corvallis, Oregon, Tricerabot. And there's Tricerabot, the return of Tricerabot. New and improved with a pneumatic flipper that can lift over 700 pounds. And he's got battering rams and a big, mean spike. From Minnetrista, Minnesota, Disco Tech. Last but not least, Disco Tech with a forged spinning disc in the front that'll get up to 70 miles an hour for a weapon. It's four wheel drive and invertible. Roman here, stand by. There's a Tricerabot team with Mike Morrow with the controls, Nicole Morrow and Ron Ender up in the booth. 
And there's the Disco Tech team on the left and the Brawler team on the right. And there's Disco Tech with Norm Domholder at the controls. And Errol Miller at the controls for Brawler. And the house bots guarding the corner patrol zones in this round will be the Saw of Dead Metal. And joining Dead Metal, the Diamond Edge Axe of Shunt. Three, two, one. And as RevBot backs out of the way, there's definitely a David and Goliath and Goliath here in this round. And the David is the brawler who seems to be holding his own out in the middle of the arena. It's a great spinning device if he can contact any uh, vital part on his opposition. Disco Tech is just sizing up how he can get in there. And Tricerabot is just circling around. And now Disco Tech is right into the side of Brawler and backs off. That spinning disc doesn't really seem to be doing very much good for the Disco Tech boys. But Disco Tech hits the Disc of Doom trigger. That's the spinning disc in the middle of the arena. Now Tricerobot is having a little go right after Disco Tech. And Disco Tech smartly gets out of it. That Disc of Doom has got teeth on it. As it spins around, it would definitely put the hurt on any low-profile bot out there today. Now Tricerobot gets underneath Disco Tech. Tricerobot definitely with all the power in this round. But the little brawler is holding its own, and there's smoke coming out. It doesn't look like Disco Tech has got much more left with all that smoke. Great one-wheel stand. Well, he's still got the power. I don't know what was smoking on him. And Tricerobot just charges into the pit trigger, opening up the pit. A great bit of strategy from a real Robot Wars veteran. Triceratops got it all here. A lot of power. Let's see if they can put Disco Checker Brawler in the hole. Now it looks this is incredible. Everybody's in it to win it here. Nobody's given up as Dead Metal comes out of that corner patrol zone, tries to bury the saw down. Triceratops is fighting it out with Disco Tech, and Shot pulls the axe down. What a great battle! Well, Disco Tech is gonna keep on motoring because he's got 24 volt motors on each wheel. So even if a couple of them, oh, he's close to the pit! And he puts himself in it! Oh, what a shame! As the Tricerobot boys know, they've gone through. Disco Tech put himself away. Look at that, hovering over the edge. But it was just too much for them to bear, and they just dumped themselves in it. Uh, Triceratops almost went right in after them. All right, thank you. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, talk about a, what a way to start the show. One of the greatest bouts we've ever seen here on Robot Wars. In my opinion, all three of these teams should have been able to move on, but that's not the way the tournament goes. And so two of them will go on. And unfortunately, Disco Tech will not. But I think we need a, a big round of applause for all the Roboteers. <laughs> Guys, I gotta tell you, that was one of the most exciting bouts I've ever seen. And really, I meant it when I said that all three of you guys, I wish, could continue, but that's not the way the rules go. And uh, unfortunately, especially because there's a little guy here, I hate to say it, but you guys are not advanced. You gotta be, you gotta be crushed. Yeah. Definitely, that's all you want to say? <laughs> Not that it was a worthwhile experience and that it was a great contest? Well, it was only one battle, so there's not much to say. So Disco Tech is out of it. Next up, Termite, Dragbot, and King of Diamonds. Yeah, the arena is still reeling from the effects of that one. Disco Tech puts an end to the destruction by falling into the pit. Tricerobot and Brawler advance to round two. More sparks fly and more bots get bashed when we return.